so in the last video we went over the concept of reactivity and in this video i will take you through how the two way data binding works in alpine js alpine component and it has a single property named name and the value is equal to john doe and inside this i have an input field of type text and if i want to bind the value name to this input box i can use the directive x bind and i will bind it to the value of input and i will say it is name and if you open it in the browser as you can see we have the input binded to the value of name we have a shorthand for this x bind value you can simply say you can just simply remove x bind and still sh still should work but with this binding this is a one way binding if i change the value of the input field it won't change the source value to prove this let's say we are displaying the value here with x text and which is equal to name so basically we are trying to print the name here as you can see we have it here but if i change this thing it does not affect this value because the data is one way binded changing this does not affect the source value so how we can make it a two way data binding for that alpine has a directive named x model so if i say this is x model this means i have binded this value to this thing in a two way so if i change the value now this also changes the source value so this is called two way data binding how this works is this input field when i say this is an x model the input field start listening for the user event of user changing the name and when user changes the name it also changes the source value so wherever the source has been referred or is dependent on it gets the reactivity into the picture so everywhere it is referenced or dependent on also reacts and it also changes so this is how the two way data binding and reactivity works in alpine js let's work on an example based on this two way data binding and reactivity so for that i will import a library called tailwind you don't have to worry about that if you don't know it's just for the styling purpose i'm importing it so i've already imported that in my project and i will refer it here so i have this demo ui ready i will paste it into the page and it is pretty simple it tells you this is a calculator which tells how much how many years it will take for your money to get doubled and this we have an input field named interest rate and below here it tells you how many years it will take for depending on the interest rate user has provided so let's get started let's create an alpine component and looks like first thing we will need a data property named interest rate let's keep it null for now and bind it two way bind it to the input property and we have interest rate here so now if you see if i change it here it should also reflect it here so i will instead of 0 i will say this is this should be equal to interest rate so whatever interest rate i provide should be reflected here as well the now the next thing is i need to calculate the number of years for that let's define a getter so getter is a special function which will be which is basically a computed property and it will be dependent on the interest rate so get year and in here we will return number of years it takes is 72 Uh, by the interest rate so always in a function we will reference the data the properties with the help of this keyword so this dot interest rate 
so these are the number of years it will take for your money to grow into double so here year I can replace here with the property X text let's see if it works it does so on interest rate of 10 it will take around 7.2 years for my money to grow into double so this is how the reactivity is working one thing that we would like to fix is if I have not provided any value so we should not show this message so for that we only need to show this let's put a condition of showing this this part of the code only when you have a positive value in the interest rate column so if the interest rate is greater than zero then only we will show this so let's say I am getting the interest rate of 12 so it would take six years for my money to grow into double on the interest rate of 12 so this is a simple application for you to get understand get your understanding with the concept of reactivity and two-way data binding I hope you found this useful see you in the next one